who's a good boy. Welcome back guys to this clown's garage. In this video I will be doing an upstream oxygen sensor on a 07 Impala. So anything from my 06 2014, same exact procedure. And this O2 sensor is located in the back over here. Alright, so the oxygen sensor is right over there. Right there. So you can actually reach it from here. So what I was doing the past couple days, uh, the night before I, I used the car, I sprayed some butter sauce in there, or any of your favorite uh, penetrating oil, lube. And the, the, the next morning, I was driving the car. So this, I did this for a couple days. So that should be nicely looped up in there, hopefully. All right, so let's begin. First thing to do is take the negative battery post off. That's a 10 millimeter right there. And that comes right off. Next thing is a stupid cover. Take that off, push that off, and put this back on so no debris goes in there. Now I take the dog bone motor mounts off. And the other side. Now I'm going to leave this one in and I'm going to put a strap over here to tilt the motor and then I'm going to pop that out. Now put the strap here, put one end over there where the engine hoist mount is and now over here, put the other end over here. Now as you crank it over there by the dog bone, it should release the tension and that comes right off. And now I'm going to crank this down a little bit just to move the engine over slightly. And be careful over here with the mounts. You don't have to go too crazy. That's good for now. Now back here. There's this connector for the coal packs. Take that off, you push down this connector, and that pulls right off. So put that to the side. Now to remove this coil pack, there's four 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and take those off. Now this engine, you have cylinders two, four, six in the front over here, and one, three, five in the back. This coal pack, it's numbered. So you can pop these off and just replace them afterwards with the correct spark plug wire. So I'm gonna pop these two off here in the back. This is number one and number four to get to that one of the bolts in the back. And that's that one. Now I'll pop number three off, and there's one over there, right behind that one. Now I'm also going to pop number five off, so all the back wires are off this thing, and just see whether it's numbered, six, three, five, two, four, one. All right, now you can just pull this off to the side of it there. So you can number these, put them back in their respective spots when, you, when you, it's time to put them back on. Now get a panel removal tool, stick it behind the sensor where the sun don't shine, and just pop that off, just like that. Okay, now this connector here, stick a flathead in there, pop that up, and that comes right off. Now to make things a little easier on my life, I'm going to take this plate off that the coal packs sit on. And there's four 13mm bolts that hold this in. Sorry, there's two 13mm bolts on top and two 13mm nuts on the bottom. Take that off. And it's one. One nut over there, and the last one over here. And 
that's off and now this whole plate comes right out. Now for the O2 sensor, there's a pin over here. Get some mule nose, squeeze that, and push that through. Just like that. And now this. Pull this up and pull it, separate the two. Just like that. Now you grab her and you snip her. I don't need that. I'm going to change it anyway. Put a little more butter sauce on it. Squirt, squirt. Because a little bit of lube makes everything come out better. Alright, so I snipped the wires closer to the oxygen sensor. Okay, now I'm going to put a deep socket on there with a half inch breaker bar. That's a 7 8 socket or 22 millimeter will do. And I'm going to try to crack that baby loose. Make sure you're on there square. And there she is, folks. She cracked loose. Yeah, baby. All right, now I have a wrench. You can spray some more lube on it. Go back and forth with it because you don't want to go the threads. Make sure it's coming out nice and smoothly. And they, they do have oxygen sensor taps or thread chasers you could use if you do happen to go the threads. This one's coming out nice and smoothly now. I'm gonna reach, do a little reach around and grab her from behind and work your finger magic. Oh yeah! Yeah baby, there she is. I also want to mention it's a good idea to put a 6 point socket on this. You don't want to put a 12 point because 6 point you have less probability of, of rounding the corners on these things. Also, it's not a good idea to use an oxygen sensor wrench because uh, those tend to flex and open and strip these, strip these off. So either use a socket on this, a six-point socket, a deep socket, or you could also cut this down, use a regular socket on here, a six-point small socket, or use a box end wrench to pop this off. That's the best way to take these off. So this is the part number we're putting in. This is the GM part number. And it does come with a little bit of antithesis and the threads, but I always like to put a little bit more. Right, go ahead and put this on. All right, now reach from behind again to find the hole. My camera girl knows I'm an expert at that. All right, it's in. Just gotta thread it. Make sure you also inspect the threads so they're not gold. Yeah, tighten that down. Okay, now I'm gonna use an oxygen sensor socket to tighten it down. And remember, you have to you you don't have to tighten it down too much. You have to go gorilla on it, just enough to seat it. Go ahead and tighten that down. And that's good. Alright, now we just gotta put the connector back on, put the pin back in, and everything is reversal of removal. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like me and share me. See ya!